In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how I made 10,000 pound in my first year of DJing. Now this video isn't to brag, this video is here purely to help brand new DJs figure out how to price themselves when they first start. A lot of new DJs get booking inquiries and they either don't wanna to say too little so they get underpaid, but they also don't wanna say too much just in case they don't get the booking. So if you stay all the way to the end, I'm gonna give you all the prices you're gonna need if you're starting out. So I started in November 2017 and the total for this month was zero pounds. In December 2017, I picked up my first booking. It was a local gym near me and they needed a DJ from six to nine, three times a week. This booking paid £10 an hour, so the total I got for each of these bookings was £30. Now, obviously, that's not a lot of money, but let me explain. When you're first starting out, you're nobody. You have no experience, and you don't really have much control how much you can charge. So I took this low-paid opportunity to get in front of people and build my experience as a DJ. You've also got to think as well, a lot of DJs, when they first start, DJ for free, so at least I was getting something for my services. So in December, I DJ for one week at the gym, which came to a total of £90. So for the month of December, but I made a total of 90 pounds. The new year hit and I was still doing the local gym near me. In January, there were five weeks. So I done three bookings a week, which was a total of 15, which came to a total of 450 pounds. February was another month where all I'd done was gym gigs. There were four weeks in February, so I'd done 12 bookings, which came to a total of £360. March is where things picked up a little bit. So I'd done the standard four weeks at the gym, which came to a total of £360. But then I also done a private event, which was a christening. So for this event, I got £150, which was over four hours, but I needed to take the following things. Speakers, lights, booth, and DJ equipment. Now, £150 isn't a lot of money, but for a brand new DJ who's trying to get experience, it's a good amount of money, especially for your first booking. You gotta remember, I've never played in front of a proper crowd before, so I wasn't expecting to get big, big money for my first ever booking. So in March, the total I made was £510. So April was a record-breaking month for me. I'd done the standard four weeks at the gym, which came to a total of £360. I also done another private event for my brother's old company, which was a five-hour garage event where I got paid £200. This event, I only had to bring my DJ equipment as the other things were already provided. Also in April, I'd done a free gig. This free gig was in a club which was straight after the garage event I played. Now my advice to all of you now, if you've never played inside a club before and you get the opportunity, even if it's free, take it. There's nothing better than getting first-hand experience inside an actual club. And you're gonna see how this free booking paid off later on in the video. In May, I finally left the gym as I was getting much more than £10 an hour. But if I'm perfectly honest, the gym is where I actually built up most of my confidence, so I'm never ever gonna forget where I first started. So I'd done another event for my brother's company in May, which was five hours for £200 again. I also done a guest set in Liquid Uxbridge. I got the opportunity to play inside a club in front of a lot of people alongside MC Sharky P. I played for one hour and I got paid 50 pounds. Then on May 27th, remember that free booking I'd done? I got another booking at that venue and for five hours I got paid 200 pounds. So in May I made a total of 450 pounds. Now in June, this is where things started to pick up. So I'd done an engagement party which I got paid 150 pounds for four hours. This booking I had to take my speakers, lights, DJ booth and DJ equipment. So after this engagement party, I decided to increase my fee for private bookings where I needed to take equipment. Basically, once you start getting paid for bookings, you'll start to work out on your own what you wanna start charging. So then on Friday the 29th of June, that club I'd done a free set for made me their resident DJ. So that Friday and Saturday, I got paid 200 pound per set, which was a total of 400 pounds. So in June in total, I made 550 pounds. Now in July, I broke my record for amount paid again. With my residency in the club, I was getting paid 400 pounds a week. There were four weeks in total, so I got paid a total of 1,600 pounds. Then at the end of the month, I'd done another booking for my brother's company, which was 200 pounds. So in July, I made a total of 1,800 pounds. Now, if you thought July was good, August was even better. So on Tuesday the 14th of August, I grabbed myself another residency every Tuesday. I went for a meeting and they said they paid their DJs 150 pound, 10 till three. So obviously I was getting paid 200 pounds on a Friday and a Saturday. So I actually said to them, could you increase the fee to 200 pounds? They turned around and said no. Now, obviously I could have turned away and not taken that opportunity, but I thought, you know what? Let me take this opportunity at 150 pounds a week. Unfortunately, when you first start, you don't really have that much experience to haggle with venues around the fee. So basically you take it or you need to go and try and find another venue elsewhere. So there were three weeks where I'd done the Tuesday residency. So I got paid a total of 450 pounds. Then with my Friday and Saturday residency, there were four weeks. So I got paid a total of 1600 pounds. So in August, I made a total of 2,050 pounds. Now, unfortunately in September, I lost my Friday and Saturday residency due to personal issues. With that, I went from making 1,600 pounds a month to absolutely nothing. 
Losing a residency can have a really bad effect on you as a DJ, but the way I see it, if you lose a residency, it just gives you more motivation to go and try and find another one. So in September, I had my Tuesday residency where I'd done it for four weeks, which gave me a total of 600 pounds. And on the 24th, I'd done a booking in Attic Uxbridge for free. Then on the 29th, I'd done a booking in Slug and Lettuce for 150 pounds, 9 p.m. till 2 a.m. So for the month of September, I made a total of 750 pounds. In October, I'd done my Tuesday residency, but there were five weeks in October. So I made a total of 750 pounds from that. But then on the 12th and 20th of October, I managed to bag myself a warm up slot in Attic Uxbridge, which was from the free booking I'd done in the previous month. I got paid 50 pound for two hours for both. Now 25 pound an hour isn't that much, but I was able to get inside a club which was full of people. It's a well-known club and I was able to work on my warming up skills. So I was grateful for the opportunity and I didn't really care about the money. So in October, I made a total of 850 pounds. Then in November, I bagged myself another residency, which is on the Thursday. The owner reached out to me and said they wanted to trial Thursdays and wanted me to DJ. So for this, I was getting paid £150 for four hours. So I'd done that for five weeks in November and I got paid a total of £750. I'd done my standard Tuesday residency and I got £600 that month from that. Then I was lucky enough to get two new sets in Watford, one on the 16th and one on the 23rd. Both of these were 10 till three and I got paid £150 for each. So in November, I made a total of £1,650. So the total amount I made in my first year of DJing was £10,070. Now I'm not saying that you're gonna make £10,000 in your first year, but it's definitely doable. Now I'm gonna give you some figures which I think that you should be getting as a brand new DJ based on these different scenarios. If you're doing club bookings or events where they pay the DJ hourly, you should be getting paid 50 pounds an hour minimum. Say if you're doing a residency 10 till three, where it's five hours, you should not be getting any less than 200 pounds. For private parties like christening, weddings and birthday parties, the party is gonna be roughly about four to five hours. Now for these bookings, if you need to take equipment, this is your time to put the price up. As a beginner, you should be charging 300 pounds minimum for your private parties. Now, these are just rough numbers, but I've been around for about five years, so I know how things work for beginner DJ. So I feel like these numbers are fair, and this is what you should be charging as a brand new DJ. But now you've watched this video, hopefully this gives you an idea of what you can say to clients when they come to you asking for your booking fee. If you've got this far in the video, type paid in the comments down below. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here where I show you what I sent in this DM to get 100 DJ gigs. I'll catch you in the next video.